Good morning everyone. Today's video is about the differences between acidic stain and basic stain. In the previous video, we saw what is a stain, what is the purpose of using the stain, components of stain and types of stain. Now we will concentrate only on the differences between acidic stain and basic stain. So the first point is that acidic stain is the one in which the chromophore is the negative ion. Since the chromophore is the negative ion, it is called anionic stain. A for acidic stain, A for anionic stain. And say anion means negative. So this acidic stain has negative ion as chromophore. Like this you can remember. And uh, basic stain. In case of a basic stain, the chromophore is the positive ion. BP like that also we can remember. So the positive ion means cation. So this basic stain is also known as cationic stain. So the third point is that since the chromophore is a negative ion, the, these stains can be used to stain only positively charged components, example histone protons. These stains can also be used in negative staining techniques like um, capsule staining and uh, so that we can stain the background of the organism. The organism will appear like a clear halo against a dark background. And in case of basic stain, we can use them to stain negatively charged components example bacterial cell this is because bacterial cell wall are negatively charged due to the presence of phospholipids in case of gram negative bacteria and tachoic acid in case of gram positive bacteria these components gives bacterial cell wall a negative charge due to the presence of negative charge they bind well to the basic stain and hence these stains can be used to stain the bacterial cell and examples of acidic stain are Eosin, Rose Bengal, India Ink, Orange, Nigrosin, Acid Fustin, Congo Red and Aniline Blue. Examples of basic stain are Methylene Blue, Crystal Violet, Saffronin, Pyronin G, Corbel Fustin, Malachite Green, Toludine Blue and Methyl Green. Thank you so much for listening to the entire video.